この戦いには、絶対に勝つ Hi, I'm Emperor Cow, and I'll be guiding you through the tag tutorial. Tag mode allows you to choose two characters to form a team and go up against another team of two characters. Each team can be controlled by either one or two players, and up to four players can play simultaneously. This is why it is essential to have a good understanding of your teammate's character as well as their playstyle and strategies in order to have an effective tag team. For the most part, the rules of tag matches are the same as solo matches. However, there are some rules that are specific to tag mode. The object of tag mode is simple. Whoever defeats both opposing team members wins the round. In the event of a timeout, the team with the most members still active wins, regardless of the total health. If both teams had equal members remaining, the team with the most total health wins. When a teammate is on standby, their health slowly regenerates until they are tagged back in. This can be very important in strategizing both your offense and defense. The player on screen can tag out by pressing H plus P plus K, and the player on standby can tag in by pressing H, P, or K. Tagging can only be done when neutral or on hit if the opponent was put in critical stun or airborne. However, you cannot tag when you're in stun, being air juggled, or knocked down. You also cannot tag on block or on hit if the opponent was not put in critical stun or airborne. When tagging from mid-screen, your teammate will appear in the same spot you left from. However, tagging with a wall behind you will cause your teammate to appear at a distance from your opponent. But this does not happen if you tag on hit. If you slam the opponent into a breakable object, any tag after that will result in your teammate appearing at a distance from the opponent. Just remember that tagging or being tagged out by your teammate while guarding cancels the guard animation and leaves the player on screen vulnerable to the opponent's attacks. This is why it is important to time your tags wisely. Tag throws are done by pressing H plus P. Depending on the team, some character formations have unique tag throw animations. Some teams have extra tag throws by pressing the correct directional input in H plus P. And some teams even have tag throws versus back turned opponents. When only one member is left on a team, that character regains their original throw animations. Tag pounces are done by pressing up H plus P plus K versus an air juggled or a knockdown opponent. Tag pounces can be very useful as combo enders. When both team members are down to 50% health or less, they can perform a tag power blow by pressing H plus P plus K during the power blow animation of either one of them. One of the unique features of tag mode is the ability to tag out on hit when the opponent is put in critical stun or airborne. This allows you to cancel your recovery frames, 
giving your teammate a huge frame advantage as they tag in. This means that in a situation where the opponent cannot hold for a short duration, such as with sit-down stuns, a guaranteed follow-up can be achieved through tag cancelling. With the right setup, you can even create a guaranteed situation leading to a critical burst. Another use for tag cancelling is that it gives you the ability to continue a combo from a move that would not normally allow follow-ups due to its long recovery frames. There are a few things that need to be considered when performing air juggles in tag mode. Some strikes gain better air juggle properties in tag mode. Because of this, these moves become very useful in extending combos. Also, the effect of gravity is less in tag mode, allowing you to perform longer air juggles. This also makes relaunchers far more effective. Another thing to consider is the damage scaling during tag air juggles. At the beginning of an air juggle, damage is always scaled down to the same percentage regardless of which team member starts the air juggle after the launch. But with every tag during an air juggle, the amount of damage your teammates follow up deals gets scaled down even further. This is why it might be a good strategy to tag in your teammate right after the launcher if they can perform a better initial air juggle to maximize damage potential. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, favorite and subscribe and click here for another tutorial. And we're done.